Hey guys, I'm Steph. And I'm Richard. Question from Emma Craig from eight minutes ago. Hi there, I love your Life in Korea videos. They are super helpful. I'm from Britain and I haven't been brought up eating spicy food. So even slightly hot foods, I don't really get on with. I don't really know much about Korean food, but from what I believe, it is very spicy. I would love to visit Korea sometime soon and I would love to experience traditional food, but I don't know how I'll manage if it's all spicy hot. Are you able to ask restaurants for milder versions of dishes? Or are there any Korean foods that are naturally mild? Thank you and lots of love, Emma XO. It's not all spicy. Some of it's not spicy. No, like grilled meat is not spicy. But the spicy food here is super spicy. It is super spicy. You hear time and again, foreigners who come here for the first time say that their spice tolerance level has risen due to the fact that Korean food is more spicy than where they're from in their home country. When I first moved to Korea, I could not eat spicy food. And I've said this before in videos, I couldn't eat spicy food. I cried because I'm like, where am I gonna find non-spicy food? Cause I didn't know all the options. And so like even the ramen that I got, which technically isn't that spicy, to me was really spicy because it had a lot of pepper. Even the lunch that we went and had today, she ordered kimchi chigi and the lady said, it's spicy. We thought she was asking, do you want it spicy? And we were like, no, not spicy. She's like, no, 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 it's really spicy. And you ended up not ordering it. Yes, because my my gastrointestinal system can only handle so much spice. And the shit is spicy here. Yeah. Like really, really spicy some dishes. Yeah. yeah. Depending on where you go, the same dish can be more spicy at one restaurant than at another restaurant. And consequently, the same restaurant, depending on who's cooking, might have different levels of spice for the same dish at different times. Yep, very <sighs> true. Like Jayuk Bokum, which is already an automatically spicy pork dish, pork and rice like stir fry dish, is spicy. We go to one kimbap restaurant, it's spicy there, but we go to a 24 hour kimbap restaurant and I can't even touch the stuff because it's just like, oh. They use a lot of chili pepper in all of their dishes. In fact, in the summertime, you'll go out into the countryside and you'll see the older ladies with big like tablecloths laid out with all these chili peppers drying. Oh, I just look at it, my mouth starts watering and I start like getting antsy because I'm like, oh, it's just so spicy. But your mouth's watering because you want to eat it? I do want to eat it because now I've grown accustomed to the spice and now I put extra spice in all my food. That's actually not true. You can't eat all the spicy food here. It makes you sick. It does make me sick, but I like to taste it. The number of times that you've gotten indigestion or heartburn from eating spicy food here is so high at this point that you know now what you can eat and what you can't eat, and some of the stuff that you can't eat, you still want to. Because it tastes really good, but then it makes me sick. I get the feeling, Emma, that you're one of those people that might be a little bit more apprehensive about trying some of the spice because you just know that you're not gonna like it. And I think a lot of people who come over here are like that. And what ends up happening is sometimes you try foods that you don't know how spicy they are and then they're too spicy for you. But then the next time you try something that you're not sure what it is and it's spicy, it doesn't bother you as much. That happens to a lot of people. And so you end up going back to England with a higher tolerance like everybody else. And you're like, you know what? I can eat spicy food now. And then you eat the spicy food in England. And you're like, this ain't nothing. <laughs> Another thing she's asking is, are you able to ask them to make the whatever you're ordering more mild? And the answer is yes, of course you can. You have to ask them in Korean. You know, you can whatever, translate it and then show them or you can figure out a simple way or you can really study Korean well and then you don't ever have to worry about this because if you speak Korean fluently, you can read all the names of all the restaurants and all the dishes that they're serving and then you just know what's spicy, what's not. And if you don't like spicy food, then you don't go to that restaurant. True. And then if you're going there because you work here and you're going with your company or your school and they're taking you out, everybody's ordering the same thing and it's spicy, you just don't eat it or you just make an exception or you just tell them I can't eat it. There might be a little bit of friction or whatever, but you know, it's the same thing as not drinking. If you're not a drinker and you're worried about coming here and being peer pressured into drinking when you don't really want to, you just have to stand firm and you really don't have to. And it might make people feel a little disappointed or uncomfortable, but it's your life. And that's the difference between the West and the East. Here, everybody just conforms and does it. And back home, we're like, well, you know what? I don't want cheese on my hamburger. No, I want you to make half lettuce on my hamburger. And then that's how Burger King makes their commercials. Get it your way. We all want something different where we're from and here they're not really like that. If, for example, if it will make you sick, if you eat spicy food, then that's a legitimate excuse. Yeah. And people will respect that. Foods that are red in color tend to be more spicy. <laughs> and they have a lot of red colored foods here. Like kimchi, spicy. Yeah, the kimchi that we had today was very spicy, but I can totally handle it. In fact, I'm just like, give me the spice. I mean, I go home now to New York and I'm like, give me the spiciest wings you got. 
and they're still not that spicy, but yet all my friends can't eat that shit because it's too spicy for them. True. And so, and you know, that, that theme of like your tolerance going up, that happens to a lot of people. It does. And it's happened to me for sure. Mm. There's another thing, like you go out to eat barbecue, for example, like the kalbi or samgyeopsal. The meat itself is not spicy. Some of the vegetables are not spicy, but the kimchi probably is spicy. But not then, always. But not always. And they'll give you a, like a little dish that sometimes has like soy sauce and a jalapeno slice in it. That's spicy. Right. <laughs> and not all the places are giving you that. Not all the places are giving you that. Some dishes like that you can eat and it won't be too spicy. When you first come here, if your Korean's not that good, you are gonna make a mistake with the spiciness. True. It's going to happen. It happened to my friends and I back in 02 when we had only all been here a couple of months. We went out to this place that a friend had recommended and just pointed to the shop. And so we were like, all right, we'll try it. So we went there on our own separately. And when the guy came out, he asked us if we wanted it spicy or not. And I think we told him we wanted it spicy. I mean, he literally almost killed us. <laughs> we were just all, cry all three of us crying. We were like, oh my God. But we were so hungry, we were eating it anyways. <laughs> and we never went back there. Well, it was just like frightening. <laughs> My first time going out to eat with my boss, whenever I first came to Korea, he took us out for kalbi tongue. Okay. Uh, Which is not a spicy no, dish. No, wait, not, not kalbi tongue. It was, uh, we eat it all the time. Potatoes. Kamji tongue. So, Kamji tongue. I'm getting all the tongues mixed up. Okay, so we went out <laughs> for kamji tongue and we're sitting there and eating it. Kamji tongue is actually spicy, but for us, it's not spicy because It's a we're medium used level it. spice at best in yeah. Korea. And so it's medium level, but like for me, I was tearing up, I was crying, I could, I, I was struggling. It tastes so good, mm. but I was struggling and they were just laughing. It's a me. great dish, it's hearty, but yeah, if you <laughs> come and eat it, one of your first dishes here and you don't like spicy food, kamjutang is gonna spice you out. If you live in Korea five years and you get used to it a little bit, kamjutang is not spicy at all. all. And I guess that's the moral of the story here. <laughs> what are some recommendations though for non-spicy food for people like, Emma. Bulgogi. Bulgogi is a Anything good choice. Anything bulgogi related would be a good choice. Um, I would also recommend the different bibimbaps because yep. a lot of bibimbap, you can put your own spice and control your own spice level because they have the red gochujang sauce and you can only put a little bit in or a lot. Yeah, kimbap is also not spicy, but you can't eat kimbap all the time. Actually, you can if you yeah. watch our vlogs. <laughs> Somebody here really likes this. Tauchi kimbap. I'm a kimbap machine. <laughs> kimbap eating machine. But along those lines, a lot of your like triangle kimbaps, if you look, some of them are spicy, some are not spicy. Well, that's more like snack food. That's snack food. A lot of your snack foods aren't spicy. Pepper rose, not spicy. <laughs> so that's it for today's Life in Korea. Thank you for your question, Emma. If you're watching and you have a question about Korea you'd like us to try and answer, drop a note down in the YouTube comments. We read them. <laughs> also, you can catch our attention on Facebook on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash hollyouback. On Snapchat is where Stephanie's hanging out these days. Username, hollyouback. I'm always snapping. On Twitter. Yeah, hollyouback on Twitter. Anywhere, wherever. You can email us and sometimes we answer those questions too. Also click the like button. button. I wasn't button. sure you were gonna say that. <laughs> on this video. And click the subscribe button if you haven't already for Asian drama, life in Korea videos. That's it for today's life in Korea. Experience, Experience it. it! Yeah, if you have a large supply of Pepto Bismol, like <laughs> Stephanie does, then you can eat all the spicy. Pepto Bismol every time you eat spicy, can you imagine? Oh. Uh. Stephanie. <sighs>